Hey, this is a fast solo no PvP method to farm Mark of Prey. I also farm bloody coins at the same time. Both these currencies are used to buy mounts, so let's get into it. So I have two characters parked in Val Shirad near Black Rook Hold. Since these currencies are obtained only from PvP, you need two characters. One who's going to do the killing, and one who's going to do the dying. I'm using a mage as my main, doing the killing, and I have my alt, Vengeance Demon Hunter, who you can see here naked and with red sickness, who my mage will be killing. Also showed you there on the map where these characters are, we're slightly inside the range of the Warden Tower PvP area, which is one of the only places you're allowed to use the Ivory Talon, which gives you a buff that lets you collect Marks of Prey. So the first step is to sign into your alt and then alt F4 to switch to your main. You don't want to do a standard log off because you want your alt character to still stay in the game for a little while so your main can log on and have a chance to kill your alt. Here you can see my mage already has Firewatcher's Oath and Ivory Talon buff active. You always want to make sure these buffs are active before you kill your alt. And make sure you're standing behind the mobs here, that's how you know you're close enough to the Warden Tower for these kills to count and give you marks. You can see after I killed my alt, I got both a Mark of Prey and a Bloody Coin. I also have a Weak Aura in the center of my screen, that's reminding me how long I have left on my Firewatcher's Oath buff, since that one is much shorter than the Ivory Talon buff, 10 minutes versus 60. Next step is to log back onto the alt. He'll have a 10 minute debuff called Hunted, that prevents anyone from being able to earn another Mark of Prey when killing this character. So your first thought might be why not just use multiple alts then and rotate through them while the debuff goes away. But this debuff only counts down while your character is logged in. So you could use multiple characters but you'll have to wait 10 minutes to repeat it with each of them no matter what. So we're just going to use one alt and do a trick to get rid of the debuff much faster. So when you log back onto your alt to avoid the res timer from doing this multiple times in a row, talk to the spirit healer and just get new res sickness. It doesn't matter, it's actually helpful for what we're doing. I use a macro that can both release my body and accept res sickness when talking to the spirit healer. I'll have that in the description. After resing, fly to Black Rook Hold, which is right nearby. You want it on normal difficulty, not heroic. What we're doing here is just running straight to the first boss and dying to him. It's okay to aggro mobs on the way, but if your character is dying before the boss, I'd recommend trying this with at least a tank character or someone that has good escape moves to get past the mobs. I really like the Vengeance Demon Hunter for this. He can take a few hits and still get to the boss, no problem. As soon as you engage the boss, the hunted debuff goes away. Don't ask me how or why, it just does. You can see it here. Boom, there it goes. It's gone. I think any dungeon or raid boss can do this, but the reason we use Black Rook Hold is because it's so close to a warden tower and a spirit healer, and it's a really short, easy run in and out. It's just the perfect combination for what we're trying to do here. So you could run out after the debuff goes away, but go ahead and let yourself die to the boss, because that will get you back to the entrance even faster. And by not killing the boss, we don't have to reset, which means we don't have the problem of eventually hitting the dungeon lockout timer with this method. Next step is just to run back to where we were. Park your alt close to where your main is, then alt F4 out, and repeat the process. When I timed myself doing this, it was about 2 minutes 45 seconds between each kill. So going from neutral to honored with Talon's Vengeance rep is going to take 9000 rep, which is uh, at 100 rep per mark means 90 marks or 82 if you have a 10% reputation buff from Dark Moon Fair or your human racial or something else. 75 marks if you can stack two reputation buffs together such as the human racial with the Dark Moon Fair buff. I'm doing this uh, during Dark Moon Fair so I'll have the 10% and at 2 minutes 45 it should take me about 3 hours 45 minutes to get from neutral to honored. It'll be longer or shorter for you obviously depending on how fast you can do this and what buffs you have. Once you're honored, while I'm not there yet, I would definitely think going into battlegrounds and getting a mark after every killing blow is going to be a lot faster than doing this. So once you once you get honored, I would stop doing this and switch to that. But until honored, I really think this is the best, fastest solo method. Getting bloody coins at the same time is just a bonus for if you also need to grind out those, since it takes no effort to combine, combine farming both currencies with this method. So you might as well if you're going for both mounts. Although there is a much faster method for bloody coin farming that I would also switch to when you stop doing this for Marks of Prey. And if you YouTube efficient bloody coin farming, you'll find that. The only other tip I can really give is if you're having trouble logging back on fast enough to kill your alt with your main, I highly recommend installing WoW onto an SSD. You might also get slightly faster load times by disabling all your add-ons if you have a lot of those. That can slow down the loading process. And uh, that's it. Thanks for watching.